Well, one of the early proponents of having schools statewide finish the year online rolled out his plan tonight. Dr. Nikolai Vidi released the distance learning plan today and presented it to the school board tonight. Jason Goldthorpe is at Malcolm X Academy in Detroit to break down the plan to finish this school year. Jason. Good evening, Kim, and it's going to be a 10 week school year, averaging about three to four hours of online learning a day and get this no grades. We'll now go into the superintendent's report. A virtual board meeting for Detroit Public Schools Tuesday night laid out a distance plan for students to finish the school year, a requirement along with paying employees to guarantee full state aid to the district. We need to meet students based on where they're at. Superintendent Nikolai Vitti started with a simplified grading system. Uh, before the shutdown, had a D minus or higher, then they would receive a pass. If they had a, an F, uh, then uh, they would receive a fail, but they would have the opportunity to improve their grade uh, through the online learning process. There will be no report cards issued for a third and fourth quarter. The next challenge addressed was how do you teach online in a district where internet access is not an option for many families? I continue to engage the business community about um, the opportunity to provide a tablet or a laptop uh, to families and also to provide internet access for the next six months. If there is only one device in the home, uh, it will be challenging. Teachers will start reaching out to students this week and hard copies of the academic packets will be distributed next week. We're not trying to put pressure um, on students and families. We're trying to offer uh, educational opportunities to keep academic work continuing. Not everybody's loving the idea. The teachers union made it clear to Dr. Vidi it was not happy with the way this was rolled out. And Vidi acknowledges, yeah, there are going to be a lot of growing pains with simply taking everything online after never doing it before. But he also said he's hearing 80 to 90% of teachers right now are happy with the way things are going and are good to go. Kim? Interesting. Well, Jason, the packets that you're talking about, where can families go pick up the printed materials uh, that, you know, lays out this new plan? Several places, including all of the grab and go sites where kids and families are still able to get food right now, mm -hmm. plus another 30 or so schools across the city. And that's a really uh, uh, big question people have been asking. And there are so many of them that the district has cobbled all of those together and put them in one database. In fact, we put a link to it at clickondetroit.com. If you want to know what's going to happen with prom, will seniors graduate? Questions like that, they're all going to be answered for all students and uh, parents right there. Yeah. Kim? Okay, Jason, thanks.